welcome back to the bloom room my name is Chantel and I'm also very sick right now 2019 really been beating my ass honestly so bear with me but the grind don't stop am I right I am so focused this year on putting out content for you guys consistently because that's something that I struggle with um but I got y'all and um the content on my videos is also going to get a lot more informational and you know, and more of the spirituality for beginners where, you know, I'm teaching things that people don't know about instead of just, you know, kind of talking about mental health and stuff. I'm going to refocus a little bit on that because a lot of people have been, you know, paying attention to those informational videos and saying things like, I'm starting to finally understand this spirituality stuff because of you. Please don't stop making videos. And so that's what I plan to do. So today's video is on DNA activation. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty dope concept. Um, and the only reason I say concept is because there's a lot of skeptics, cynics out there, and my videos are geared towards them too. I said that from the beginning. You know, I want to reach all, you know, walks of life, all types of beings, and skeptics are one of them. And I want to kind of put a informational you know scientific approach for people who are skeptics um, but I do believe in DNA activation um, and yeah so that's gonna be today's video next video coming soon will be law of polarity the fourth universal law so stay tuned for that and let's get in the shit so there was two men I deleted when this happened for my research like a dumbass but I think it was the 80s or something two men named James Watson and Francis Crick they did studies on our DNA, which is basically the blueprints for the structure of our cells. Their studies created the belief that genes control biology, which then turned into this concept of genetic determinism. And genetic determinism basically means like we are victims to our genetics. We're not victims to nothing, let alone our genetics. But we already knew that. So breakthroughs in cell biology and quantum physics have shown that our cells are affected by things outside of us. This research, which is in the field of vibrational medicine, it became the study of epigenetic, or the science of epigenetics. So basically epigenetics means controller influence of DNA from above or outside of the gene. So the air we breathe, the food we eat, the things we think, the thoughts we pray, the intentions we write and say, the affirmations, all of that literally have the effect of altering our DNA. So epigenetics shows us that we can, with focused intentions, change our lives from what we've been handed down to genetically, biologically. We're not victims to that. Activating your DNA is accomplished by raising your frequency little by little, but Along with raising your frequency, if you're not actively doing these things, you might not know that this is happening to you. I want to talk a little bit about what these upgrades mean. Like, what are the upgrades for? What are we being upgraded to? We are being changed physically from carbon-based beings, and we're carbon-based because carbon is a key element to all of life. Like, anything we've observed in life is mostly composed of carbon, and its ability to bond with so many electrons is basically the ability to produce more cells and that's just more stuff you know what I mean so we are carbon based everything is ma mainly carbon based and we're we're changing from carbon based beings with a two strand DNA to eventually you know like once you master all that shit crystalline beings crystalline beings crystalline 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 I like crystalline better crystalline beings with 1,024 strands of DNA. That's eventually, but that's what these upgrades are happening for. Your DNA is activated once you raise your frequency, whether by conscious, consciously or not. Um, and so in DNA, if you didn't know, there's something called junk DNA that really don't sit with me right, you know, like a lot of other shit. But junk DNA, basically, here's the definition. Genomic DNA that does not encode proteins and whose purpose, if it has one, is not well understood. So, y'all, we got a lot of junk DNA. 
And this is what DNA activation is. It's activating that junk DNA or we're activating the stuff that no one knows its function. So it's kind of like the movie Lucy where in the movie only 4% of the brain is known. If you watch my past videos, um, the foundation and all that, only 4% of everything on earth is matter, meaning things that we are interacting with or seeing or you know what I mean? 4%. What the fuck else is the other percent? That is the metaphysical. But it's just like in the movie Lucy, 4% of our brain is known and then she, that movie ends bad I think. But basically DNA activation is activating, you know? activating the portion of our brain that scientists have no idea about. It's probably a lot of metaphysical shit, honestly, like spiritual shit. So DNA activation means letting go of 3D concepts. 3D concepts are the 3D, which is now. We're, we are creating the new earth, and the new earth is basically the highest frequencies. But the 3D is heavy, it's dense. That's why everyone wants to move to 5D. In the spiritual shit, you might hear that a lot. Like, 5D is basically just a higher consciousness, a higher vibrational frequency. And it's called 5D, like five dimension, because when you alter your consciousness, it is like entering a new dimension. Like, you, you see the world different. It's just, it's crazy. But we are being called to let go of anything no longer serving us or in alignment with our spiritual path. Not only are we changing, but everything on Earth is changing. All life forms on Earth are becoming crystalline. We are all moving together into this new state of being the new Earth, the higher frequency. This is 5D. A lot of spiritual people and teachers talk about something called the crystalline grid. The crystalline grid, by definition, is described as the consciousness of light that is surrounding us and is within us at all times. So apparently the crystalline grid contains the earth and the geomagnetic field that surrounds the earth, encompasses the entire solar system, and radiates out into all other galaxies in time and space. So they described it as this holographic matrix of light. We are all connected to this, this consciousness, this force of, you know, light. And we're all connected, but the more of us who consciously connect to and align with this crystalline grid, meaning aligning with our higher selves, the higher frequencies, and radiate this light and love, this pure light, the more we as a collective will ascend and shift into it. Okay, so this video is uh, decently long already. I, I think I'll change it into a two-part. This video is all about DNA activation, and in the next video I am going to be describing some symptoms of DNA activation, and not only describing the symptoms, but describing why they're happening, which is rare. Um, so, yeah, if you didn't know about DNA activation and upgrades, now you know. Next video coming right now is symptoms of DNA activation, um, the physical symptoms why they happen, and how we can deal with them.